Hello, everybody. Andy Roman here. Welcome to Get Real with Andy. This episode is Relationship 103. So I've already done Relationship 101, 102, and now this one. Some of the things I'm going to say are sort of generalizations, and they might look like they're stereotypes, but uh, I'm going to say them anyway and apply them to your relationship. I hope you get something out of this. So what I want to distinguish here is the difference between content and process. Some people, and they tend to be more men, are more content oriented, and women tend to be more process oriented. Of course, that's you know a generalization. So let's just say some people. And so they have different orientations, and so the conversations really go differently and there can be years of mismatch conversations you know whose style is right what should we focus on the content or the process and by content i mean the actual stuff the, that is the content of the conversation you know this is my issue and the process is a focus on the vibe the feeling how things are expressed, the tone, those things all are process elements. And it tends to be men are more content oriented, women tend to be more process oriented. So it behooves a man or the one who's more content oriented to be more sensitive to the process, to pay attention to the tone, that if you want your content to land, you're going to have to adjust to the process in a way that works. Here's another generality, before I get into more specific examples, that men need to feel respected and women need to feel connected. And again, that's a generalization gender-wise, but it could be that in your relationship, one of you, the need for respect is more than the need to connect. So if you're the one who needs to be connected, you're the one that's going to be more sensitive to the process, to the tone, to the vibe of the exchange. To the one of you that needs to be respected, the focus will be more on having the content acknowledged. And so whichever end of the spectrum you're at, whether you're a man or a woman, be aware of, be mindful, and be sensitive to the opposite of you or to be sensitive to the actual orientation of your partner. If they're more content oriented, do your best to acknowledge the content. If the way they're bringing it up doesn't work for you, you say stuff like, I really want to address your issue. I'm just having difficulty with how you're delivering it. It's a straight out truthful statement. It's an I statement. You're not saying, don't be a jerk. You're not saying anything negative about the other person. If you're a content-oriented person and you want your content to land, to be acknowledged, but you're dealing with somebody who's primarily a process-oriented person, and so if you stay upset, they won't hear your message, at least be honest with your upset because they will feel connected with you. I'm mad at you right now. Lands better, believe it or not, than forcing your content into the foreground. If your partner is primarily a process-oriented person, which I would say is more feeling-centered, more feeling-oriented, you need to constantly woo them. Okay? I, listen to this. You need to constantly woo them. Even when you bring up an issue, it needs to be put in the context of I'm bringing this up because I want to connect with you more. Once that comes across, they will listen to whatever you say. They will, they will really take your content to heart. They will do whatever. So instead of trying to correct your partner, connect with your partner. Have even that which you're griping about be part of the connecting process if your partner is a connector. 
rather than just a content-oriented person. All right, I hope you get the sense of this because this has unlocked so much miscommunication for couples that I've worked with and has really helped people be on the same team. I'm going to say it in the man-woman context just because I'm more familiar with it that way. But if you are a man, do what you can to be connected. Present everything you do as your desire to be connected to your partner. And they will melt. They will listen. They will do. They'll just be more responsive in the direction that you want. If you are a woman, if you are a connector, and you're dealing with somebody who is just pushing content through and you don't get it because the more they're being dominant, the less connected you feel. Do what you can do to respect them, to show respect. Acknowledge their issue, the content of it. Okay? And don't say anything negative about how they're delivering it. Just say how you feel about it. You know? Once you show the respect by acknowledging the content of whatever they're bringing up, they're more likely to become more sensitive naturally. They'll drop it. They'll feel respected and want to connect with you more. So there's a fine line between respecting and connecting. And so whichever end of the spectrum of either of those you find yourself on, just be sensitive to the other part of it. Work on it. Do it. Okay. Relationship 103. Thank you. Thank you.